Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and we're taking a look at the CQC Beta, or Update 1.4, whichever you prefer. Um, there is a lot of stuff to talk about in this beta, as there always is with these large updates. Um, so I'm going to kind of split this into a few different videos. Uh, some of the things we've got, we've got a few new ships, um, the Imperial Eagle, the Federal something or other, uh, assault ship, and there's also a different one, the Federal gunship. Um, so we'll have a look at those ships in a future video. Um, there's also a large number of tweaks and fixes and that sort of things. Um, we've got a few new things added as well. There's a new hazardous resource extraction site, um, which is supposed to be a lot more dangerous than what we've got at the moment. There's also what they're calling compromised nav beacons. I've got no idea what that is. We'll have a look at that again in a future video. Um, and there's also some new missions and that sort of thing, like salvaging missions and that. Um, but today we're just going to focus on CQC itself. Uh, if you don't know what this is, it's kind of an arena shooter uh, thing basically. Think If you've played Star Citizen, think Arena Commander, um, although there's no swarm mode or anything like that. It's all kind of multiplayer PvP sort of stuff. Um, and it seems to be all done using small ships. So uh, the Federal Condor, for example, which is the little tiny itty bitty fighter that the Federation forces use, uh, like the you know, the same sort of thing for the Imperials, although I haven't seen the Imperial one in there yet. Hopefully we'll see that sooner or later. Um, but anyway, so one thing you'll notice, we have a new rank under our ranking bar. We now have a CQC rank. Um, I've, got to, I've got to be completely honest, I'm not really sure why we see that in here. It doesn't really have any impact at all on the main game, um, and it kind of takes up room. I can imagine especially people who don't want anything to do with CQC are not going to like seeing that rank uh, constantly being displayed there. Um, I don't really, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know why it's displayed there, if I'm completely honest. But anyway, if you want to see CQC rank, you just look there. Now, in terms of actually launching CQC, um, I haven't found a way to do it from inside the cockpit. I may be just completely blind and missing something really obvious. Um, I mean, if it was going to be from anywhere, I would expect it to be launched from in the functions tab. But like I was saying, I just cannot find that anywhere at all. So let's, um, launch it just from, we've got to escape out to the main menu. So we'll escape out here and we'll just launch it from the main menu. So to get to it, you just hit start and then you go down to CQC Championship. And uh, there are some links here to uh, tutorial videos if you want those, but we don't need tutorial videos. Okay, and so we will now load into CQC, or Close Quarters Championship, but I think I've actually said what the abbreviation meant. And here we go. So we get this uh, this kind of page where you select the different game modes you want and everything. You can also choose your ships. Uh, you can edit your ship loadout, change a ship, invite people to a squad, which I guess you just invite people from your friends list into a squad. Um, or you can view your stats. Now the stats are fairly basic. It just gives you a bit of information about what you've done. So you can see I've played for 15 minutes. I've uh, won one game, which means I came first on the leaderboard. I've lost one game, which I guess means I didn't come first on the leaderboard. I'm not really sure. And you can see, you know, one win, eight kills, KDR, all the rest of it. And then you got sp uh, specified stats for each game mode. So the only one I've played so far is Deathmatch, which is basically free for all. And you can see I'm rank three. So let's go to ship select. Uh, as you progress in rank, you unlock further ships and loadouts for ships. So everything is kind of tied to your rank. So you can see these are the different ships we've got available at the moment. Uh, Condor, Sidewinder, Eagle. That's about it. And then each ship has its own special loadout. So I've got the Eagle selected at the moment. This has different choices of weapons. Uh, so you have Beam Laser, OC Pulse, Cannons, OC Beam, and different stuff here. Now if I was to go to... That, all that background noise is really loud. I didn't really notice that before. If I was to select the Condor and then go to edit the loadout, you'll see it's actually got different weapons. So this one has a plasma repeater or rapid cannon, uh, so on and so forth, just different stuff. So there's not a, it looks like the outfitting isn't going to be a huge thing. Um, like there's not that many different alternatives, although different ships I suppose do have different weapons options and everything. But it looks like you will be able to kind of tweak the ship to your liking, but at the same time, you're not going to be doing some massive crazy loadout or anything like that. So, yeah, and let me just select my eagle again. There we go. And um, let's jump into a match. I guess I'll do deathmatch again, seeing as that's what I've already played. The choices are Team Conflict, which is 
a combination of TDM and Capture the Flag. You got Deathmatch, which is free for all, and then you've got Capture the Flag, um, which I guess is probably the same Capture the Flag as you get in Team Conflict, but it's just that, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know why they've got that separated into two different things. But anyway, let's uh, click Deathmatch. So now what it does is it match makes you with a, with a bunch of different people. I don't know if it's um, cross-play between Xbox One and PC. I don't believe that it is. And so these are the people we will be playing against. And you see, you do get a, a wide range of different uh, ranks. So this guy is rank 9. Um, this is going to give him an advantage, I suppose, because he'll have a better loadout and all that sort of thing, like better ships, better loadouts. Um, but at the same time, I mean, I've gone from rank 1 to 3 in 15 minutes, although one of that was because I had a pretty lucky game. But anyway. So we'll uh, wait for this game to start and we'll load in and we will see how it goes. And free-for-all, as free-for-all often is in any FPS game, I mean, it uh, can get pretty chaotic. It's just people everywhere shooting everyone. But so far, it's, it's been fairly enjoyable. As you can see, I haven't tried all of the um, all of the different you know, uh, game modes or anything, but I've had fun with... Oh, my joystick just disconnected. Why did you do that? It better keep working. Otherwise I'm in a lot of trouble. Waiting for players. What the fuck is my joystick doing? Technical Five, difficulties. Four, three, is it still working? Two, one, okay, it is. <laughs> Alright, um, that was weird. Okay, so we've got player over here. We don't have to worry about deploying hard points or anything like that. That's already done by default. Let's, um, full power to the weapons. I think I'm using fixed weapons here because I'm in the Eagle. I'm not really sure. I haven't actually flown the Eagle before. I only just unlocked it. Okay, let's boost in. Start unloading on this guy. Everybody's unloading on this guy. I feel sorry for him. He's dead. I got the kill. Go after this guy. guy's just in a sidewinder and he's dead somebody's hitting me full power of the shields uh, adjusting your power management and everything is really useful in this I'm not gonna go for the guy attacking me because I'm dumb let's just go after this guy flying really close to that asteroid I'm gonna die soon I'm on 54% uh, full power to the weapons see if I can take this guy out before I die oh he's on 4% come on I don't know if I killed him or not yeah as I said a little bit chaotic. Okay, so we'll respawn in. Got a guy down here, Sidewinder. Again, full power of the weapons. Actually, let's go for this guy. He's in an eagle by the looks of it. Somebody is shooting me. I'm going to pop chaff just in case. Oh shit, I don't have chaff, I have heat sinks. And I'm going down. Once somebody gets behind you, it is really difficult to uh, shake them. Let's see if I can. We'll go around these asteroids, try and lose them in the asteroid field. I don't know if that's actually worked or not. Somebody's still on me. It's the condor, and I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'm not particularly great at this, but once somebody's on your six and they're just unloading into you, especially when they've got gimbaled weapons, uh, it is a real, it's real difficult to lose them. And also, I just realized I have heatsink launches on this ship instead of chaff. Uh, the Condor that I was using previously had chaff loaded, which was obviously really good for uh, dodging those gimbaled weapons. Where are you going? Bit more power to the engines and everything. He is fast. I haven't played on this map before. Oh, he's gotten stuck. Made a mistake. Oh, why can't I shoot? Oh, apparently I got that killed. Not quite sure how. I guess the last person who gets the hit if somebody suicides gets the kill. Alright, where is everybody? And you can see up the top there, it looks like I'm actually leading this game. Um, somehow. Alright, there's somebody over here. Condor. Let's try and find him. Okay. There we go. Somebody's shooting over here as well. Let's head over this way. Somebody's behind me. Let's give it a boost. They're already attacking me. I'm going to go full power to the systems. 
unload on this guy a bit. He's dead. I got somebody shooting me as well. I'm just gonna focus. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna focus on this guy, that's stupid. I'm nearly dead. Uh, I can't really turn around fast enough. I've got a couple of people shooting at me. Let's see if I can do anything to this guy before I die. Shields are almost down. Oh, and I'm dead. Whew, there we go. You do find yourself getting uh, kind of ganged up on a fair bit in this free for all mode, which is not exactly a surprise if I'm honest. Okay. I saw some weapons fire over here. There we go. Eagle. Don't know what's going on with these shields. I guess those are one of the overcharged shields that you get or something. You might notice as well that I'm not really targeting uh, power plants or anything like that. To be honest, this is fairly fast paced and there doesn't seem to be much point in doing that from what I've been able to tell so far. I mean, I might be completely missing something. Let's uh, deploy a heat sink. I just want to get this guy's kill before I die. That's all I want. Oh, come on, don't overheat. Would have helped if I had power to the weapons. There we go, he's dead. Let's see if I can avoid this. I'm on 1% hull. I'm so close to being dead. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that was pretty stupid. I thought I had power to my weapons. I actually had power to my shields, which is why the weapons were overheating like that. Okay, so we've got two and a half minutes left in this battle. Let's see, who are we attacking? A condor here. Oh, this guy has presented himself. Same guy I was attacking previously. Okay, so he's already, he's pretty messed up. It looks like he got a kill. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Let me target you. There we go. Yeah, flying in front of other people in this is really not a good idea. Because uh, like I was saying earlier, once somebody's behind you, it is really hard to shake them. And that's what happens to you. Oh, and that's game. I guess there's a uh, limit to the number of kills. So I just won. So, that's, um, that's a free-for-all battle. 8 kills, 4 deaths, 0 assists. I think I was ranked 12. Damn. Um, so yeah, so now once we've completed a battle, we go through uh, this kind of screen where you rank up all the different things that you did in the battle. So you see I won the game, so I get extra XP. I was the MVP, so I get extra XP. I had a quick kill, so I get extra XP. And all those sort of things, they add up. And you also get 1600 credits. Wow, what a wonderful amount of credits. Um, and yeah, so that's how you level up and everything. And so let's have a look at what I got. I didn't get anything, I don't think, because I didn't actually load up or level up. I wasn't really paying much attention, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, select ship, edit loadout. Yeah, I don't think anything really changed there. Alright, so that's free-for-all. Let's, um, let's go back and we'll try Team Conflict. So now we'll search for another match. Hopefully we'll find something. I haven't had any problems at all yet with not being able to find a match or anything like that. Um, I suppose there's a first time for everything though. I mean, I have only played this for a fairly short amount of time before I started recording, so... No idea how long it will it can actually take to find matches. It's possible, I suppose, that most people are playing uh, Deathmatch, or it's just... It's, you know, got some more... No, more criteria to go through when it's trying to find team-based stuff. I've got no idea at all. It is taking a while though. So I guess I'll just leave this to search and uh, we'll come back if it finds anything. Okay, so we are loading into Team Deathmatch. Cool. Uh, we were sitting at that loading screen for a little while. Nothing really changed in terms of, like, it didn't display new people joining the matchmaking lobby or anything like that. It just kind of loaded in straight away. And I've loaded into something already in progress, but it looks like, ooh, voice comms open. No, I'm scared to talk in case everybody can hear me. Okay, so it looks like this is bugged out. I did uh, go into the options menu for a minute to um, disable voice comms, just to turn it all off and mute incoming voice and everything, because that was apparently turned on by default, which is crazy. 
Um, it looks like the game is now frozen or something. I don't really know what's going on. It's obviously the time has run down. Looks like our team won the game, although I must have joined right at the very end. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, my it, control inputs are still working and everything, but I'd say it's just not working at the end of the game. So I'm going to escape out of this. And what am I going to do? Looks like my only options are to return to the menu or keep playing. But yeah, this definitely isn't working, so I guess I'm going to have to return to the menu. So this is the first problem that I have encountered. I can't find my escape key. Too many things in the way. There we go. Alright, let's exit to the main menu. Um, yeah, I've got no idea why it would default with voice comms on. You can see that's where I turned it off. Joining a squad, apparently. What's going on? Unless I've lost my connection to the server or something, but it doesn't look like it. So this is obviously some uh, some glitch that's happening. Um, but yeah, I've got no idea why voice comms defaulted to being switched on. That's a really strange decision. Because um, it, it wasn't push to talk or anything like that. So I don't know if you guys could hear for a bit there. There was kind of this crackling sort of white noise sound. That was actually the voice comms. So those guys, their mics were open. I'm guessing they weren't talking. Uh, my mic would have been open, I think. It depends which microphone the game is picked up. I don't really know because I've got two plugged in. Um, so they probably could have heard me talking as well, just rambling on, talking to myself. Um, that's a really weird decision, having voice comms just switch on by default. I don't know. I don't like that at all. Luckily, you can't turn it off. Uh, as for what's happening now, it looks like I'm just going to have to save and exit. Um, I can't click any of these. It's just trying to join the squad. There's obviously some difficulty happening with joining that squad so this is i mean this is bait obviously there are going to be problems but yeah it looks like saving and exiting is what i will be doing so i guess i'll do that okay so we're loading back into cqc um i've just realized how long i've been recording for uh, i don't want this video to be crazy long so we'll just uh, finish loading into this and then i will kind of finish up with my thoughts on cqc at the moment but in general it's fairly positive um i mean when they first announced CQC, I was, let's say, skeptical, and I've hit rank 5, so I guess I did level up from hitting that, um, like from being in that last game right at the very end. Um, let's see, what was it? Team Deathmatch. Yeah, one win. Okay. Well, apparently I won that. Um, yeah, I was, I was fairly skeptical when they first announced this, but I would say that it is, it's pretty fun. Um, I've had fun playing it. It's really loud in the background for whatever reason. Um, I think probably the really good thing about it is that it allows PvP with zero risk. Because the problem with PvP in Elite has always been, at least in Elite Dangerous, um, has always been that you're risking up to hundreds of millions of credits, depending on what ship you're flying. And it would also, in a lot of cases, it would be non-consensual. Um, you know, you'd have one person attacking somebody who didn't really want to be attacked, which led to the whole combat logging problems and people considering PvP to be griefing and all the rest of it. Uh, I don't particularly agree with that, but anyway. The thing about this is that everybody is doing it of, you know, of their own free will and they've got nothing to lose. So I think that really makes it a lot more fun. Um, some people will disagree with that and that's fine. But for me, the really good thing about something like this is that you can just jump into it with zero risk of losing your crazy expensive python or anaconda or whatever um it remains to be seen if there's going to be any balancing problems or anything it's too early for me to say um there may be some problems with having higher ranked people being in the lower ranked matches but again a little bit too early to say um but yeah from what i've seen so far it's a fair bit of fun and one thing that i really like is that you can jump into it no matter where you are in space so obviously on my live account, I'm like 2,000 light years away from civilized space at the moment. Um, once this comes out, I'll still be able to jump in and play around with CQC. So for somebody in that situation, it's actually a bit of a nice diversion, um, being able to, you know, do something different uh, rather than just jumping between systems and hitting the scan button. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so future videos coming out, I'll have the uh, the different ships that have been added to the game, we'll check out the new resource extraction site, all that good stuff, have a look at all the uh, the fixes and tweaks and everything. 
But I think I will end this one here. So the CQC beta, it's worth jumping in and checking out if you've got beta access. Uh, it's pretty cool. But yeah, so until next time, I've been Vosco. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.